we're going to kick off the show today by bringing in Dr. Kevin Ball. He's the Dean of the School of Health Sciences at Oakland University. What an exciting time, or an interesting time, rather, to be in your field because to experience a pandemic has to be um, something that did you ever think that you would go through? Uh, absolutely uh, not. Uh, and I, I know I, we, we have many people who study pandemics and we've been well aware of the possibilities, uh, but you know you, you don't really think it's, it's going to happen. And of course, here it is, uh, and it's, it's pretty dramatic. Uh, and I think the other point we have at Oakland University, while I represent the School of Health Sciences, we have the School of Nursing and also the Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine. So uh, quite a number of us uh, work in the health arena, in the me health medical arena, and uh, it, this was not really predictable in, 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 the, in the typical sense. And knowing that and knowing your background, what, what has it been like for, for you as well as the students to try to study this and figure out the next steps? You know, <laughs> It's a difficult situation as we've all experienced. Uh, we had to, within the space of two days, completely change the the educational delivery. We went, uh, you know, as of I think the 14th or so of, of March, two days later, we were fully online, uh, remote learning. Uh, we, we couldn't even, and it, for faculty, we, we had two days to know, uh, we couldn't even have people going back into the building for a period of time. So uh, it was a dramatic, a dramatic change. Uh, that, that of course was was dramatic for faculty. It was dramatic for the entire university, and of course the students. Uh, but I have to say, um, uh, incredible group of people, all of us, uh, because it, it, you know people pulled together rapidly. There were faculty helping each other out. Some of them were familiar with with uh, online learning models, but but some of them been teaching for some years and had not been uh, working with those kinds of technologies and. People pulled together. The students were very, very understanding. Um, there were a lot of, uh, you know, help and support groups that formed. And next thing you know, uh, we, we were well underway. Um, but the, the other point is, we're, we're training people for for careers in health, uh, many different types of careers in health, and it's the you know real world uh, to help people in in their lives. And um, it, this couldn't be a more meaningful time to be in a career uh, for health, and to be trained to to help others. With that, uh, do you think a, a pandemic such as this is helping to inspire some students to want to go into this field because they want to help more? Or is it deflecting from the industry because people are afraid to go into the industry? You know, it's a little, a little difficult to know for sure. Uh, the, the, um, the entire uh, country, as you know, that a lot of the media covered this, uh, the entire country was seeing a decline in students going to universities. Uh, there, you know, the idea of oh, taking a gap year or something along that lines, um, which uh, I, you know I don't think is a, was a good choice. I think uh, we've moved well into the into, into providing safe forms of education here, and um, I think that students can move right along in their careers. But th the numbers have declined a, a little overall. That having been said, though, we held on pretty strong at Oakland University broadly, and certainly in the health careers, uh, we've done very well uh, holding our numbers while there was a general decline. And the other thing I, I think we're seeing is um, people a lot more interest in the public health arenas. We have a Department of Public and Environmental Wellness that includes the Master of Public Health program, the undergraduate program in wellness and health promotion, and then an undergraduate program in environmental health and safety and also a, a safety management. So those fields have, have picked up actually quite a bit. Uh, in fact, our, our master public health program has saw its largest uh, in, in enrollment this year uh, in the midst of this, this coronavirus. Dr. Kevin Ball with us here on the Oakland County Megacast. He's the Dean of the School of Health Sciences over at Oakland University. Uh, Dean, I know that you started the Health Allergy Symposium program. For those not familiar with it, what exactly is it and what is the goal of the program? So we started this program four years ago. It's healthology. So ology is the study of or the knowledge of 
and in the idea is all things health. Uh, the, the, we have four different departments at our School of Health Sciences, so we also designed this healthology event to rotate through the four different departments. And uh, this year would have been the, the, the fourth department, we would have done the full cycle. Uh, but, um, and each year uh, we cover contemporary health topics. Uh, there, is a, there is a public facing portion of this. Uh, what we've typically been doing is we've had an evening event uh, such as the one that we're going to talk about today, uh, and that's open to the public, and, and it's typically been done at the Open Center in, on campus live. And then we have a full day event, which is a, uh, a, a professional development event uh, in, inviting uh, medical professionals and health professionals throughout uh, to do upgrading and training uh, and discussions in, in different fields. So we've, we've rotated the topics through. We've, we've covered uh, interdisciplinary health uh, sciences around a food distribution networking. Uh, we've, we've covered clinical and diagnostic sciences, uh, the idea of, of the, the, the science of understanding the human body physiologically and what we, what we do with that information to, to really uh, treat and help people. Uh, and we've, we've covered um, this broad idea of upstream health or downstream care. Upstream health is what we do in the community. It's what we do uh, to promote a positive health and wellness. Uh, in, in, in the environment, uh, around communities. And downstream care is what happens when, you know, we all have to go to downstream care at some point to, to, to have our, uh, our health taken care of by medical professionals. Um, now this year we are, we are focusing on uh, our human movement science department with the goals of looking at um, activity and physical activity and uh, rehabilitation and what, what uh, the advantages of that. But that got thrown out the window because COVID came along and, uh, and put us all into the environments that we're in. So um, are, are we, we moved the event as far as we could out into the future and we decided now that we're going to do a virtual event, which is uh, Thursday, November 12th. And that event is this year, it's, we've changed the title. We, we, we've gone with Beyond COVID, um, Igniting Innovation in Health. So the idea is beyond COVID. I, I listened to the, the start of your program today and of course, we're not entirely beyond COVID, but we wanted to talk about uh, what the COVID environment has done uh, and what we've done as a society to, to rebound and bring some positive thoughts um, towards uh, uh, getting, getting through this. How important is it to have this collaboration of so many different people with so many different backgrounds coming together? What is the... And what is the long-term impact that you think that will have, have on the health industry? You know, it is the essential uh, ingredient, really. Uh, you know, the, we, we, have, we have brilliant people. We've got um, um, all fields that, that we need to take care of people in society. Um, we individually do very well in, in many of the areas that we work, but what's really needed ultimately is collaboration and cooperation and communication. Uh, bringing people together to try to solve problems um, and, and break down the barriers that, that tend to exist. Uh, with excellence in training, uh, you know, people come very, very good at, at, at their individual fields, uh, but not always recognizing that there's someone working down the hall or in the, build, or the building across the street or someone in the community that, that has the answer to the question that that one person doesn't have. Uh, and so that's the point of our healthology symposium and it's about collaboration and communication. Uh, and this year we were uh, really focused on this idea of beyond COVID. In other words, you know, COVID is, has impacted each of us. It's impacted individuals. It's impacted the health of, of, the, of all of us. Uh, it's changed the way we focus, uh, where we function in society. And yet um, at the same time, it's, it's caused um, large um, uh, numbers of people to be greatly disadvantaged uh, in, in uh, urban communities, uh, even in rural communities. Uh, and what we need to do is pull together with all the resources we have, uh, with all the professions that we have uh, to, uh, to really find solutions to, to help people. And that's what this event is all about. Uh, we have uh, 12 speakers from a whole array of different uh, fields, uh, which we can, I can talk a little bit more about as we go along. With that, from a student standpoint, what impact will this have on them long term and their careers do you think right so every one of these areas that we talk about uh where we're we have speakers we also have students 
placed in, in those fields and, and uh, alumni and, and graduates that are, um, uh, that are working in all of these fields. And that's one of the things we have to realize is, uh, you know, that the, 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 the need for health and, and uh, upstream health, downstream care is everywhere, it's ongoing, it's in every field uh, and every kind of condition that we have to take care of, of, of people in. Uh, and so while, we've, while we're fighting this virus and we're recognizing the difficulties of trying to educate people, we also know that we, we got to keep doing this uh, because we need uh, the future, uh, uh, you know, the physician, the future uh, exercise uh, scientist, the physical therapist, the radiologic technologist, et cetera, et cetera. Dr. Kevin Ball with us. He's the dean of the School of Health Sciences at Oakland University, joining us today on the program. And uh, Dr. Ball, you, you spoke earlier about how important collaboration is going to be in the post-COVID world, particularly in health sciences and in those career paths. How important on top of that collaboration is versatility in these variety of health science career paths going to be for students that are going into the industry and for those who are already in the industries uh, within health sciences to be able to learn new things and maybe cross over into different areas as we tackle the next big problems ahead of COVID. Right, uh, that's absolutely true. I, I, you know, uh, we, we, of course, we try to provide a, a, a strong basis of, of, of health of knowledge to every one of our students, and then they would specialize in the individual fields in which they uh, they work. Uh, but what we found in in COVID, I mean, this was such an acute and such a a, a wild situation um, that, and you'll hear this in, in the speakers that, that, that speak in our event, uh, that you know the entire hospital systems were were completely uh, changed over to to be emergency care for COVID. That meant that regular treatments that people would be receiving or uh, elective surgeries, of course, canceled, uh, but just the ongoing uh, maintenance of areas were, were not being able to be uh, delivered. Uh, people that were trained as, as, say, physical therapists for a period of time could not deliver physical therapy because the patients weren't in the, in, in the environments and they, would, and they didn't want to come, to be honest. Uh, you know, people that had uh, recent surgeries and would, would have wanted to have physical therapy, but everyone was afraid and uh, they weren't they weren't really willing to put themselves at risk reasonably so um, so that meant that physical therapists became uh, uh, support workers for other fields in health um, you know the, 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 everyone rallied around the idea of what do we need to do and how do we do it as well as we can and when you think about you know some of the aspects of our society today where there seems to be a battle constantly uh, today happens to be election day uh, this is an example of where we pulled together, where, where society and in all the fields in health really said, hey, I'm putting aside my personal uh, concerns right now. We've got to work as a team and we've got to save lives. And it was it was an incredible crisis that we had to rise to. That is one of the good things coming out of this crisis is that so many people are coming together that maybe wouldn't have done so uh, prior to this. And one of the other things I think has been an advantage or also teaching us to do things differently and one of those being virtual. And when we go virtual, it was hard to embrace sometimes in the beginning and there are still some you know, kinks along the way. You may have a little bit of a Zoom leg or something of that nature, but it also opens up the door for so many of these events such as the one you have coming up for more people to be able to attend who maybe couldn't do so in person. So with that, uh, how can people who may be listening or watching this, how can they um, get involved or uh, take part in the symposium? Okay, thanks very much for the, for the opportunity to invite everyone. Uh, it, it, uh, it's www.oakland.edu slash SHS, the School of Health Sciences. And that's the website that you need to go to on Thursday uh, November 12th, and it's a 5.30 program. If you go to that website, there will be a, a link that you can click on, and, and away you go. You're, you're in, in watching our, our program. And there's a 45-minute video, uh, which uh, includes all of the speakers, the 12 speakers across the various uh, uh, arrays of, uh, of our healthcare system. And then we follow that up with a 45-minute uh, networking uh, virtual chat room uh, which again, all the links will be on that website. So that's oakland.edu uh, slash SHS. 
and uh, that's that's the website. Uh, also, if people are interested in uh, wanted to share any uh, thoughts or uh, around the healthology, uh, we have a website in or not a website an email address in health i n h e a l t h one word in health at oakland.edu and you can reach uh, me and and uh, the people that are um, will that once you've seen the show of course uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, ask further questions at that website. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the way to to, uh, to to see what's going on and be part of it. Uh, and the goals are, of course, that we um, that we do bring people together. Our, the slogan of the Healthology Symposium is where science, practice, and social interests meet. And uh, those are words chosen carefully. Science, of course, we are the health sciences. Practice is the health practices. Social interests, well, it's about the interests that we have in society for, for maintaining the health of people, but it's also meant to be social in, in a sense of bringing together in a networking environment. So you mentioned the importance of the virtual methods like uh, Zoom and, and other things. And um, you know, we really have to take advantage of these uh, technologies. That if you imagine, could you imagine that maybe 15 years ago, if this were to happen, we would not have had these kinds of abilities of, of communicating. But today we're very fortunate to have the technologies available. And we have to make use of those technologies to have these kinds of conversations. Uh, you know, I think we would all rather be in one place. I, I start the program out by saying that we'd all rather be together physically. But if we can't be, uh, we still have a lot of great opportunities through these virtual uh, systems. Uh, there'll be the ability in that program with the networking uh, chat rooms to actually send in uh, through a text message your questions and there will be people uh, uh, available to pose those questions to the experts. So again, the uh, symposium is going to be taking place Thursday, November 12th. It is free to the public. Any, who would benefit from uh, tuning in to this? Well, we, we designed it to be uh, anyone with, with interest in tr understanding um, how uh, COVID has influenced our society and how we have fought back to, uh, to, to kind of uh, respond. Um, you know, uh, the, the ideas on creative solutions developed across different health sectors uh, in response to the unique challenges of the pandemic. Uh, we have stories of diverse health leaders who uh, have, you know, created had creative problem solving, have, have determined ways to, to continue to provide uh, health and, and uh, medical support uh, to patients. Uh, the idea of, of, of a food distribution system has been changed, uh, in, in particularly in the Pontiac uh, area. And, um, you know, this is these are success stories, really. Uh, I, I realize, again, that we're still fighting this, but we have to pull pull some uh, uh, some good things out of what's happening. And the good things are that we found different ways uh, through telehealth, for example, uh, and uh, through um, you know, just networking and more conversation, communication, cooperation amongst different professions, which we'll talk about in, in, the, in the show that, uh, that evening. Well, we so appreciate having you with us here on the Oakland County Megacast. Dr. Kevin Ball, he is the Dean of the School of Health Sciences at Oakland University. We wish you the best of luck with the event and also thank you for putting it together because it is an important conversation for us and here, all of us here in the area to have and hopefully some good things and a lot of solutions come out of the collaboration at the symposium. Well, thanks very much. Uh, excited to, to be able to have the opportunity uh, and I'm glad that you were in invited us uh, invited me here today and really appreciate it so that's terrific uh, so looking forward to meeting everyone in healthology